Hello, I am Delma M. Webb, host and producer of The Discussion, a 30-minute talk show that will feature contemporary entrepreneurs in conversation about their advocacy to fight for a social or political issue that affect an individual's human rights. My guest for this premiere show is Ms. Lisa Miller Delighty, chairperson of Heating God's Call of Greater Washington and creator of the T-shirt memorial for victims slain in gun violence. Currently, Ms. Delighty has been a leader to advocate the repeal for the state of Maryland capital punishment death law and favor life without parole for convicted murderers. Welcome, Ms. Delighty, to the premiere show of The Discussion. I'm so pleased to be here today. Thank you for inviting me. Ms. Delighty, please give the audience a brief history and mission of Heeding God's Call of Greater Washington to advocate against acts of violence, particularly gun violence. Heeding God's Call started about seven years ago in Philadelphia. The traditional peace groups, the um, Mennonites, the Quakers, and the Brethren got together, had a meeting, and said, this has got to stop. So thus came Heeding God's Call to End Gun Violence, and we are a faith-based, mm -hmm. uh, nonprofit, grassroots organization trying to get people out of the pews mm -hmm. and out there advocating to end gun violence. Wow. So, Ms. Delighty, what is the impact of that gun violence in the lives of American people and the cost? of the violence for citizens paying U.S. taxes, especially in those areas? Well, in the statistics show that 30,000 Americans die every year through gun violence. Mm. Um, in Philadelphia, the numbers are high, and in Washington, last year it was 155 in this local area, mm -hmm. inside the Beltway. Mm -hmm. um, so there's some in Virginia and some in Maryland, 155. And each one of those is a precious mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. a precious mm -hmm. human being that has been lost to us through gun violence. Wow. Ms. Delighty, I have read your statement addressed to the General um, Maryland Assembly on August 9, 2008, that petition, petitioned the state of Maryland to repeal the capital punishment death law sentence in favor of life without parole for the convicted murderers please share with the television audience your personal tragedy about your brother falling victim to violence in the line of duty and why you continue to change, why you want to change the capital punishment death law in the state of Maryland. My brother, Michael John Miller, mm -hmm. was an FBI agent mm -hmm. and 20 years ago, November 22nd, mm -hmm. 1980, 1994, sorry, mm -hmm. he was on loan to mm -hmm. D.C. Metropolitan Police along mm -hmm. with two other FBI agents mm -hmm. and they were working in the cold case squad mm -hmm. in uh, D.C. headquarters, police headquarters. Mm -hmm. And a gunman came in and shot up the office, mm -hmm. killed the police detective, killed uh, uh, Martha Dixon Martinez, and killed my brother Michael John Miller. Um, he actually, the man, his beef mm -hmm. was with the homicide detectives down mm -hmm. the the hall, mm -hmm. but he came into the wrong office. But uh, so he killed uh, three people, mm -hmm. uh, injured another FBI agent very, very severely, mm -hmm. and uh, there were a couple witnesses in the room that were shot, and then he died. And it seems that type of violence continues today in 2015, with the recent um, increase of office violence of former workers. So um, what can you tell those families? It's, it's a difficult. Mm -hmm. It's so difficult. With each one of mm -hmm. those, it really hits mm -hmm. my family mm -hmm. um, very hard. Uh, we, we call ourselves survivors, mm -hmm. but every time it, it, we live back through what happened with Mike uh, mm -hmm. when he was killed, mm -hmm. it's, it's difficult. So. Um, Faith is a, a wonderful thing, though, and having good friends and faith, mm -hmm. and also getting involved helps. Getting involved to advocate against gun violence in America certainly will propel all of us, the citizens of the United States of America, 
to begin a conversation about the dangers of improperly using handguns against another human being. Each year, the cost of gun violence in the U.S. affects every taxpayer's pocketbook as a result of gun violence. Fact number one. Fact number two. Fact number three. Fact number four. Fact number five. Fact number six. Fact number seven. Gun violence in the U.S., now you know. On that thought, we will return after this message. You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. And to follow the swimming rules. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules, now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. We are back with Ms. Lisa Delighty, Chairperson of Heeding God's Call of Greater Washington. Ms. Delighty. Do politicians living in other states and or citizens living in the metropolitan area support your advocacy for gun control and the life without parole option instead of the capital punishment death law? Well, as we know, uh -huh. politicians are not with us on the uh, gun violence prevention. Mm. Um, there's a big lobby out there that has uh, gotten control. Most Americans agree with us on ways to end gun violence, mm -hmm. but not all politicians. As far as the death penalty, mm -hmm. we can be very proud to say that mm -hmm. in the state of Maryland, there is no death penalty mm -hmm. anymore. Okay. And so, you know, the, the lobbying and stuff, mm -hmm. and then we had a, a good governor at the time that mm -hmm. signed it. And so, we got the politicians behind mm -hmm. us on that. We have a number of politicians behind us on this. In Maryland, we have a great gun law. Mm -hmm. We have one of the best in the country. Mm -hmm. um, not so for the states That's around fair. us, okay. which is part of our problem. And Washington, D.C. has no statehood. Right. So what have you, have you spoken to citizens in Washington, D.C. about the gun laws? 
most citizens that I run into, mm -hmm. and maybe I only run into a certain mm -hmm. group, excuse me, <coughs> agree with us. Mm -hmm. People don't want gun violence. Mm -hmm. People don't want people to die. Mm -hmm. It's just we all have our different ways of mm -hmm. ending mm -hmm. that kind mm -hmm. of uh, violence. So, Ms. Delighty, what message would you like to tell the young adults about capital punishment laws for the death penalty and the life without parole option if the perpetrator murders someone? Well, again, I, along with other people mm -hmm. that, that are with me on this, we don't believe in an eye for an eye and a tooth mm -hmm. for a tooth. We believe that some people uh, can be helped. Mm -hmm. uh, the cost of putting someone on death row is mm -hmm. tremendous to mm -hmm. this country. The mm -hmm. appeals that have to mm -hmm. are, are mandatory. If that money could go to a job program, mm -hmm. could go to education, mm -hmm. could go to rehab, that would be a much better use of our money to help people get past this violence. Getting involved. Many Americans are not aware of the states that practice or have abolished the death penalty associated with gun violence or crimes of violence in the United States. Thus far in American history, there are 31 states that continue to enforce the death penalty and 19 states that have abolished the death penalty. States with or without the death penalty laws, now you know. The discussion will return after this message. If you store your guns properly. So not just anyone can get to them. I'll feel safer when I'm playing outside. Safer when walking home. I won't have to tell so many family members. I'm sorry. I won't hear as many scary stories or scary news reports. I won't have to hold someone's hand and shout you're going to make it. And I won't have to tell my kids this isn't a drill. Please. 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 Do it for us. For us. 
do it for us. Your family, friends, and neighbors are all counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. If you own a firearm and are not using it, please be responsible and be sure that it's stored in a safe place. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. We are back with Ms. Lisa Miller Delighty, chairperson of Heeding God's Call of Greater Washington. Ms. Delighty, please explain the concept of the T-shirt memorial, the design and the representation of each color, and how does God's Heeding God's Call determine which victims of gun violence is to be honored in the T-shirt memorial? The T-shirt memorial was created three years ago in Philadelphia. Um, and we've taken that idea and used it here. This is our second year. And each T-shirt, uh, there's a uh, stand, a piece of rebar, a mm -hmm. PVC stand, and a T-shirt. And each T-shirt has the name, the age, and the death date for the victims. Last year, we had 176 T-shirts. Mm -hmm. This year, 155. Mm. A little celebration, but still 155 too many. Mm. Um, they represent people who died in 2014, mostly inside the Beltway. Mm -hmm. um, we have shirts for Virginia. We have 23 for Virginia. Mm -hmm. uh, Maryland, we have 57. And District of Columbia, we have 75 shirts. Mm. And uh, they travel around to locations that would like to see them. Uh, we have 16 locations set up mm -hmm. for this year, mm -hmm. and which is double what we did last year, mm -hmm. so we're very excited about that. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, uh, the way names are chosen is we mm -hmm. get articles from the uh, newspaper mm -hmm. or the D.C. Metropolitan Police uh, mm -hmm. website. Mm -hmm. um, we don't take suicides unless it's a murder-suicide, mm -hmm. um, like a father who kills his three children, his mm -hmm. wife, and then mm -hmm. himself. They're all out there on the shirts. Mm -hmm. um, ages, we start, we have two age threes out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And the oldest is 73, mm -hmm. and that's James Brady, mm -hmm. Ronald mm -hmm. Reagan's right, press secretary, right, right. who passed last year. Mm -hmm. So he died through gun violence. Mm -hmm. um, so where has the T-shirt memorial been exhibited, and what has been the reaction of the public to the T-shirt memorial? Well, it started out in, in Chevy Chase, uh, Chevy Chase Circle, Chevy mm -hmm. Chase Presbyterian. Uh, it actually went over to University of Maryland mm -hmm. and was on the mall to University of Maryland. Mm -hmm. um, then it was at Shiloh Baptist. And mm -hmm. at Shiloh Baptist, to give you a reaction, um, we had set it up. And then the next morning when I came for church, mm -hmm. laying on top of one of the lights was a woman's shirt in mm -hmm. which they had written initials and an age and a death date. The death date was 1974. Oh my goodness. So still mm -hmm. dear to someone's heart. Mm -hmm. And they put that shirt there and, and we left it there while the memorial was there. Uh -huh. Sometimes we get flowers. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we get little notes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have shirts taken mm -hmm. um, because it was their loved one's shirt mm -hmm. and they take it. And that's not a big deal at all. We mm -hmm. just make another one. But, oh, okay. And uh, we just started mm -hmm. uh, recently at mm -hmm. uh, when we were at 15th Street Presbyterian. Mm -hmm. We did a small display of nine shirts for the nine people mm -hmm. who were killed in their church in Charleston, South Carolina. Okay. So we've added them in, in too, too because that's so gripping to especially people of faith who are mm -hmm. walking by and seeing these memorials. So what about people who are non-faith? That's interesting because we added a journaling mm -hmm. page, a journaling center, mm -hmm. and people are writing in it, and um, they agree that there's too much violence. Mm -hmm. it's, they don't necessarily agree that, because we say mm -hmm. stop, read, pray, mm -hmm. and remember. Um, but they can meditate mm -hmm. if they, but mm -hmm. we especially, we ask people mm -hmm. of faith to pray. Ms. Delighty, what do you want to accomplish in the future with heeding God's call of Greater Washington? Well, one thing that we do, and, and we do with the memorial, is we want people to see how many people 
mm -hmm. are killed. You know, when you read the article in the paper, it's just one name. Mm -hmm. When you see all 155 together, mm -hmm. it does cause you to react. Mm -hmm. it, it, it touches a little mm -hmm. bit more. Um, it means a little bit more, and that's what we want people to mm -hmm. do. We want them to notice that, to not become numb mm -hmm. to the killings or not read about them. We mm -hmm. want them to know that this is going on in all, in all the communities around mm -hmm. our area. And we want them to, as we say, we want them to stop. Mm -hmm. We want them to read the names. Mm -hmm. We want them to pray. Mm -hmm. And we want them to remember. Mm -hmm. Recently, a, uh, at a, one of our services mm -hmm. around the memorial, the, a rabbi there said, and then go out and speak to one other. And I thought that was a wonderful idea to go out. You know, it's one thing. I think it's great if you stop, read, pray, and remember. But then to, he challenged us all to get out there and talk to someone else. Not always someone that agrees with you, but to get out there and continue the conversation. And that's what we want. Because next year, we don't want to put 155 up. We want it to be closer to 100, and then the year after, even less. That's our goal, is to have a smaller memorial every year. Getting involved, advocates and citizens learn the key words and key definitions associated with gun violence and violence in the United States of America. Key definitions associated with gun violence for the home of the brave and land of the free. Now you know. We will return after this message.
I would like to thank Ms. Lisa Miller Delighty of Heeding God's Call of Greater Washington for being my first guest on the discussion. A thought for you to remember. Any type of violence or gun violence is a serious act of crime that is detrimental to our lives and our well-being. For sure, Ms. Lisa Miller Delighty is the contemporary entrepreneur to advocate against violence and support a bill to repeal the capital punishment death law in the state of Maryland. And if you happen to see an exhibit of the shirts on crosses, then you know this is the t-shirt memorial tribute to fallen victims slain by gun violence. For more information, go to Lisa Miller Delighty on Facebook. I am Delma M. Webb, host and producer of the discussion. Thank you for watching. I am Delma Marilyn Webb, host and producer of The Discussion, a talk show to feature entrepreneurs in conversation about their advocacy for human rights issues. Airing on DC TV channels, Comcast channels 95 and 96, RCN channels 10 and 11, Verizon channels 10, 11, and 28. For exact dates and times, go to www.dctv.org, click Programming.